My name is Tim Wilson. I'm from the Bradford County Extension Office, and I'm going to demonstrate how to take a water sample. So when your county agent asks you to bring them a water sample so they can evaluate your pond, we're going to show you what to do and what not to do. Now when you take your water sample, what you want to do is you want to get an empty water bottle. Don't use a Coke bottle, don't use a Gatorade bottle. Use a water bottle because it doesn't have any sugars or any other uh, residues in there besides just straight water. And what we're going to do whenever you take the sample is you're going to want to submerge your bottle with the opening pointing forward, pointing down, go, go into the water source and turn it right side up. That way the air in the bottle will expel and blow any debris outside of the, the bottle before you cap it. While it's still underwater, you'll take your cap, clear the, in, the underneath portion of your cap of any water bubbles or anything of that nature and cap it while it's still underwater. When you bring your water bottle out of the pond, you can turn it left to right to confirm that there's no, there's not an air bubble. If there's an air bubble, you have to retake your sample. All right, when we take our sample, you'll want to find an area of the pond with uh, access to the water without getting into the debris. Now in this case, what we'll do, we'll submerge our water bottle with the orifice down and it'll expel all the air in the bottle. I'll take my cap underwater, clear it, and cap my sample. When I bring my sample out of the water, you'll notice there's not any sort of air bubble in here. Now this sample has a little bit of debris in it. You may want to retake that sample to avoid having any debris in there at all. But this would be a uh, sample we could test in the office if we needed to.